words of life, words of hope, give us strength, help us cope in this world wherever we roam. Ancient words will guide us home. Ancient the ancient words in part. Today is the 20th of July 2021 and I welcome you at this moment when we read, reflect and share on the word of God. And today you're with me Father David Nwagama. In the machines is Andrew Pound and Suhel Chunda. We begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Our first reading today comes from the book of Exodus chapter 14 verses 21 we go on up to chapter 15 verse 1 in those days Moses stretched out his hand over the sea and the Lord drove the sea back by a strong east wind all night and made the sea dry land and the waters were divided and the sons of Israel went into the midst of the sea on, a, on dry ground the waters being a wall to them on their right and on their left. The Egyptians pursued and went in after them into the midst of the sea, all Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. And in the morning, and in the morning watch, the Lord in the pillar of fire and of cloud looked down upon the host of the Egyptians and discomfited the host of the Egyptians, clogging their chariot wheels so that they drove heavily. And the Egyptians said, Let us flee from before Israel, for the Lord fights for them against the Egyptians. The, then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, that the water may come back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots, and upon their horsemen. So Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to its usual flow when the morning appeared, and the Egyptians fled into it. And the Lord routed the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. The waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen, and all the hosts of Pharaoh that had followed them into the sea. Not so much as one of them remained. But the sons of Israel walked on dry ground through the sea, the waters being a wall through them on their right hand and on their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day from the hand of the Egyptians, and Israel so the Egyptians dead upon the seashore. And Israel saw the great work which the Lord did against the Egyptians, and the people feared the Lord, and they believed in the Lord and in his servant Moses. Then Moses and the sons of Israel sang this song to the Lord, saying, I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously, hosts, and his rider he has thrown into the sea. The word of the Lord. For our reflection, 
we use our usual beautiful hymn as a dear panties for the water so my soul longs after thee So longs. You're my friend and my brother, even though you are the king. Hallelujah. If a man loves me, he will keep my word, says the Lord, and my father will love him, and we will come to him. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Matthew chapter 12, verses. 46 to 50. At that time while Jesus was speaking to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood outside asking to speak to him. But he replied to the man who told him, Who is my mother? And who are my brethren? And stretching out his hand towards the, his disciples, he said, Here are my, bro my mother and my brethren. For whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and my sister and my mother. The Gospel of the Lord. We take a little while of meditation again using a beautiful hymn, ancient words, holy word, meant for my work and for your work in this life, changing me and changing you. And we'll be back with our reflection of today. Yes, we have come with open hearts. Oh, let the ancient words impart. I want to thank you 
wherever you are following us. In different countries, some you are in Zambia, some you are in South Africa, some of you are in Uganda, some are in Kenya, some are in UK, some are in America, different parts of this world. Note you can follow us via our Facebook page, Lunta Television. Um, you can catch us on Clear Clear Decoders. You can catch us on uh, Go TV. And uh, you will also have this on our YouTube page, Lunta TV Official. Today, I'd want us to pick three lessons from the readings of today. And our lesson number one is, if he were a limited God, you would be the first impossibility. Stop doubting God's capacity. If he were a limited God, you and me would be the first impossibility. Stop doubting God's capacity. Our lesson number two is, listening to discouraging voices would make you give up on what you would otherwise have won successfully. Avoid discouraging company. Listening to discouraging voices would make you give up on what you would otherwise have won successfully. Avoid discouraging company. Our last lesson is, being a relation of God's servant is not a ticket to salvation. In faith matters, every eye cries for itself. We go back to our first lesson. We said the first lesson is, if he were a limited God, you would be the first impossibility. Stop doubting God's capacity. The first lesson and the second lesson I pick from the first reading. The first lesson, as we've seen, to me, looking at where we left yesterday, people complaining and yelling at Moses, were there no graves in Egypt? that you should bring us to perish here in darkness. Look at them, they are coming to finish us all, and we will be dead. And today, after crossing on, they are singing a song. Great is our God, <clears throat> for he has triumphed. Horse and rider he has thrown into the sea. They were looking at God as a limited God, Looking at what was ahead of them, they knew they were finished. And they said, no, it's not possible. We are before the sea. If we move on, we'll all perish in it. If he were a limited God, you would be the first impossibility. Stop doubting God's capacity. As I live every day, I ought to not this. My being is mysterious in its own way. I repeat, I repeat again, as I speak to you, I am not in control of anything of my own. I'm not even in control of my thinking and the flow of the ideas coming in. I'm not in control of my brain. My sanity is not dependent on my choice. Neither is your sanity. There is nothing you gave to God to say, okay, I should be born in this way or the other way. Totally his choice. There were so many possible worlds that should have been created other than me or you. There are so many possible creatures that should have been created other than you or me. If he were a limited God, you would be the first impossibility. Stop doubting God's capacity. As I live on, I say, this God can afford. This, no, I think this is too big for him. Let me, oh, okay. 
Yes, so, okay, let me go and see. I think which doctor would manage. It is like saying, okay, God has uh, won't manage this, but Satan would manage it. And I want to give up on prayer and thinking that that's the end. Yes, God's will is done in our lives. He needs my cooperation with faith and trust in him. I ought to stop doubting God's capacity. The situation you are in, the situation I'm in, I totally offer it to God with no doubt in my heart, and I do my part. I will see it pass. Moses had to do his part. The people had to do their part to walk on. He said, God said, why are you just crying to me? Let the people walk on, but you have a role to play. Hit the, your staff in the sea. While God is acting, I have my role too to play. If he were a limited God, you would be the first impossibility. Stop doubting God's capacity. Our second lesson, which also comes from the first reading, which is interrelated to the first one, we said is listening to discouraging voices would make you give up on what you otherwise would have won successfully. Avoid discouraging company. If there are failures around the world, Many people fail because of the discouraging company. You get the zeal and you want to do something. And then you share with a, a, a friends. And what you expect is for them to encourage you. You say, no, you can. But the words that will be coming out, you say, Mwamba kupenga misala ated. Mwamba kugani That's not impossible. Are you getting mad? That you start thinking about that. That's not possible. And then you go back home and sit, you say, my friend has said it's not possible, so it's not. I wanted to start a, big, a business, but when my friend uh, saw it, really, he knows and it's not possible. And so, Abbas, Ndingo Kalagu, Nyumbabas, Ntawi, Kazakwan, and Zabang, says, let me just be home, because my friend told me it's not possible to make a business. Hmm. Listening to discouraging voices would make you give up on what? You would otherwise have won successfully, avoid a discouraging company. There are people who were with the Israelites, who were just speaking words of discouragement and moving up, meeting uh, the people, and then they stare the anger and discouraging words. We told you, this man is, is really crazy that he brought us here. And people's minds, in most cases, the number, a good number of people in the world do not think on their own. They do depend on the thinking of someone else. What the other one has said is correct, and their anger flares without even thinking on, looking at all that God had already done. And so it takes just a, a few people to change the hearts of thousands. And they really see, yes, indeed, where are we going to pass on? And they get mad. And they start shouting at Moses, where well, there are no graves. And so that alone would have hindered them from progressing and moving forward. And that's what exactly happens. That the talent that is in you, the talent that is in me, the people who are around me, will either build it or kill it. But majorly, the choice is yours. Then they will tell you, no, you are just a, a bad speaker. You can't say anything on, look at you. Will you manage to stand in, in, in a group and speak to people? You. I know your father. Never, <laughs> you won't. Just say no. Stop embarrassing yourself. Do you think those who stand there to speak, they were born speaking to the group? Everyone had their first time. Everyone. Mukuti mukupita kwa America. Inu. So you are going to America, you. But singozi wala nizitai in his mess. Just forget about them. Just throw them away. 
and you do believe yes god destined me to be so and so <clears throat> I can't do much because no one has ever. You being a, a priest, you being a sister, you being a. Mm, you have never had even even a, a catechist in your relations anyway, and you will be the first one. You can't invent a new way, my friend. Just give up that and start thinking. Suddenly, I think you're, you're mad. And you give up on something you would have done. You started a small business and you're about to give it up because someone is discouraging, you know. Listening to discouraging voices would make you give up on what you otherwise would have um, won successfully avoid discouraging company. But if you have people who encourage you, yes, you can. Yes, you could make some mistakes on, but on the process, you get better and better. The Israelites moved up. If they were to listen to the other voices of the discouragers, they would have perished. But they listened to the voice of the one who had a vision ahead and encouraged them, let's go, don't fear, don't be afraid. Were the words Moses spoke to them yesterday. Let's move on, get walking, be first. And now they are singing a song of victory. You will sing it as long as you don't give up. These are not just mere words to speak to you. Everyone who has succeeded had to try. Try it. You, you won't succeed in business by just being at home. Everyone has to try. And when you're there, then you see something working out. Okay, the last lesson we said is, being a relation of God's servant is not a ticket to salvation. In faith matters, every eye cries for itself. To me, it's a message or a lesson I pick from the gospel reading of today. Jesus informed about your ma his mother and his brothers are out looking for him. So who is my mother? Who is my father? Being a relation of God's a servant is not a ticket to salvation. In faith matters, every eye cries for itself. Yes, true, we pray for each other, and the prayers of the other person support me, but I am in the forefront in this journey. It is not something like inheritance. It's say, okay, poti afum, kakakutindi ne mwana wafum, agachoka basi, ufumu ndite ngaine. Says, because I'm a child of a, a chief, so when the chief goes, I will inherit their seat. Not so. Because your brother or your sister or your friend is a priest or a religious, you say, e, this one prays for me every day, so uh, this, uh, this prayer is enough. Oh, because your wife goes to church and you choose, oh, no, the prayers you say are enough. No, let's not have an overdose of prayers. Mm -hmm. You pray, I pray, and the children pray. <clears throat> this will be an overdose. Oh, <laughs> okay. Being a relation of a God's servant is not a ticket to uh, salvation. In faith matters, every eye cries for itself. No, my son is a priest. And so I don't need to pray. He offers mass every day. He prays for all of us. Ah, even if we don't go, I know he has prayed for us. My, oh, in faith matters. You ought to be in the forefront. You ought to be a disciple on your own as well. Yes, these prayers support you of the, <clears throat> your relation, but <clears throat> they shouldn't be. Oh, there could be. You ought to walk your journey. When we will meet our God, and then it will be on, you say, God, listen to me, you know. Let me be taken into your kingdom because my son was a priest. You know that. Say, yes, oh, okay. I don't know whether that argument will work out. Say, no, I would not pray because I felt we would give an overdose to our family. You see, it's there always, my daughter is a poor Claire. And so they are always praying day, uh, every morning, evening, night. And so these prayers are enough. And we knew they were enough, so admit us. Oh. 
being a relation to a servant of God is not a ticket to salvation. In faith matters, every eye cries for itself. Make an effort to be closer to God from today. And we stop laziness on. We ought to be at the feet of Jesus. We ought to be in adoration. We ought to be in the forefront to repent our sins. Yeah, you won't repent for my sins. You won't know them anyway. I won't repent for your sins. You have to be in the forefront. And I have to be in the forefront. May God give you the grace. May he give me the grace to walk closer by him with deeper faith today than I lived yesterday. You have been with me, Father David, in Wagaband in the machines was Andrew Pound and uh, Suhel Chunda. God's blessing be upon me and upon you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Till tomorrow, goodbye. Strength help us cope in this world.